a beam PQ PQ of length 10 meters has a mass of 2 kilograms. R is on PQ such that PR to RQ is 2 to 3. What we're going to also assume is that this is a uniform mass as well, yeah? It's 2 to 3. And the force is 20, 24, 5N, act at PQR as shown. A force F is applied to T such that TQ is equal to X. So this distance is F as a force applied here. So that, when the, so that the system will be in equilibrium. Find the value of the force F and the distance X. Okay, for system to be in equilibrium, we need two things. If we resolve in the direction of forces, the resultant will be equal to zero. And if you take moment about any point, the total moment of forces is equal to zero. So, resolving vertically upwards, being positive, we're going to have 20 plus F, which we've got to find, plus 24, is going to be equal to downwards, minus 5, minus 2G, has to be equal to 0 for equilibrium. And then we're going to, that gives me F, 20, plus 24, minus 5. gives me uh, 30, 39, so we get F plus 39 minus 2G is equal to 0. F will be 2G minus 39, which gives me minus 19.4 newtons. So in fact, that force isn't acting upwards, it's acting downwards. So there was a force of 19.4 newtons acting downwards on the beam, because it came out to be negative. So putting that force in now downwards, taking moments about Q, so this point here, all right, so we don't need to worry about this 24 Newton. Anticlockwise will be positive, so that will be 19.4 times X plus 2G times 5, center of the beam, okay, because we've got a uniform mass here, we're assuming that, plus 5 times 6, so this is 5, Times. This distance is 6 because it was a ratio of 2 to 3. So this is, this is 10, this would have to be 4, and this had to be 6. So that gives 19.4x plus 10g plus 30. Clockwise is minus negative, so minus 20 times 10. So this one here, going this way, minus 20 times 10, which gives me minus 200. The total moment of forces about Q is zero for equilibrium, so we're going to have 19.4x plus 10g plus 30 for the anticlockwise, and then we take away 200, that's equal to zero. Simplifying that, we're going to get 19.4x is equal to 30 minus 200 is minus 170, take to the other side is 170, minus 10g, g is 9.8. So 19.4 x is equal to 72, x is equal to 3.71 meters, correct, to three significant figures, okay? If the beam is uniform, okay, then the center of mass will be in the middle.